For the better part of two and a half years, I've been testing out various quote unquote AI platforms. And today I'm going to be talking about what my strategy is going to be moving forward based on where things sit now. For the past two, two and a half, almost three years now, I've been testing out uh, various distributed compute platforms or like these GPU rental platforms, which are really more like system rental platforms. And it's been it's been good. It's been bad. It's been good again. It's been bad. It's it comes and goes. And what I've come to realize lately is there's just no demand for these platforms. And so uh, I'm going to show you systems that I have on it. And when I say there's no demand, there's no demand for actual consumer hardware. There may be demand for enterprise hardware or high-end uh, hardware. I do not cons I do not consider 5090s and 4090s consumer hardware. Like honestly, the prices are so far out of reach for the average person that I do not cons I don't consider those consumer hardware. I consider those very high-end hardware. Uh, when you're talking about paying two thousand dollars for a graphics card. That is, in my mind, that's absolutely absurd. Um, you know, when I first got into mining, the big scalping craze, it really wasn't even when I first got in. It was actually the second cycle. Like the big scalping craze was the RX 580s. And the scalping price on those was $379 a card, which was astronomical. And now when I look at these retail cards, and you know, they're $1,500, $2,000. Like to me, that is just insane. And so for me, I don't consider that consumer hardware. That's not hardware the everyday person is going to go out and buy. It's just the, the money to spend that is and the risk is insane. So for me, I've been testing various devices, uh, some 3060 Ti's, some 4060's, uh, some 5070's. And even in my mind, the 5070 is like a higher end consumer device. Uh, your typical everyday person, that's probably going to be kind of be the max that you're looking for for that uh, at home compute provider, if you will, without going out and spending thousands and thousands of dollars on dedicated systems. And that's kind of what I've been testing out. And I'm going to hop on over and show you what I currently have on Vast AI. And you're going to notice a common theme here, and that is nothing is rented. Now, up until about a week and a half ago, I was rented nonstop. In fact, I actually had a queue of renters on some of my systems. So uh, some of them, I actually had two renters at a time. And so what has happened, though, is uh, during, you know, during a lot of crypto booms, we see these platforms get heavily utilized. But then uh, when pre-mine stop, when various activities stop, there's not a consistent rental. Now, I have seen real compute jobs. And when I say real compute jobs, these are people who are actually generating images using quote unquote AI um, to, for like online stores that are on Shopify. Like I, I saw uh, some like uh, Alibaba shops actually using my systems. And I could actually see the images that they were rendering. Uh, for their stores, and they were all pr they were like stock product uh, images, uh, so with like that generic background. But they were actually using AI to generate uh, various uh, angles of their photos, which is cool. And to see that being used, and that was actually being used a lot, um, to the fact that they were using like low end thirty fifties for that, and I was making pretty good uh, amount of revenue, which was nice. What I'm noticing, though, is everything has fallen off. And so you can see my prices are actually pretty low right now. So I have a 3050 uh, in this system. Now, this system has a i7-3770. So it is an 8-core, um, or sorry, 4-core, 8-thread processor, 32 gigs of RAM, 2.5 cents an hour is what I have it slated at, not rented. Um, hasn't been ran for, for a couple weeks now. Uh, same thing with the 4060. I actually have that at four cents 
And that is because as a newer i7, and it has 6,700 in it. Uh, once again, 32 gigs of RAM. Uh, moving down 3060 Ti, I actually have this at three cents. Still not rented. Uh, and this has a Ryzen 5 5500. So this is six core, 12 thread, 16 gigs of RAM in that one. And all of these have decent storage as well. Uh, 3080. Uh, again, 3600, so 6 core, 12 thread, 32 gigs of RAM. And that one also is not rented, and I have that at 4 cents. Uh, 5070, I also have 4 cents, not rented. Um, and that one is a 6 core, 12 thread, 32 gigs of RAM. And then I even have these at 3 cents. And these are both 3060 Ti's uh, with a 3700X in them. So 8 core, 16 thread, 16 gigs of RAM each in those. So uh, these are all kind of dedicated PCs. Now, if you're not aware, I did uh, about six months ago, I had an opportunity to buy two pallets of computers. So these were old computers, old government PCs that were being used uh, by my regional government offices. And they were going through a hardware refresh program and they basically just wanted to liquidate all their systems. So I was able to get two of these pallet jacks, um, which it was basically less than 10, it was between five and $10 a system. And uh, all of these uh, basically can fit a small form factor GPU in them. And so uh, all of these, with the exception of the few that are down here, these are true like mini PCs that don't have, uh, I guess they're like the micro tiny, mini micro tinies. Uh, they do not have GPU slot on them, but they do have i7s in them. So good processors. So, and then if we hop on over to Octaspace, so I did have, you know, those handful of systems on Vast. And as I mentioned, they were rented for quite a bit. Um, however, those have fallen off. Now, with Vash, you do get storage rental. So if you notice, like there, this one has storage. Actually, let me, yeah, that's fine. This one has storage and this one has storage. So I do earn a little bit just by my systems being online uh, because they can tap into the hard drive storage. However, I'm currently only earning about 20 cents a day on this. And this has been the theme for like the past two weeks. I've only been averaging 20 cents a day. It's not worth it, even for the idle power, to just keep them running. Uh, so hopping on over to the Octaspace. So now I am running basically all of these systems uh, that are not on VAST. They are all on Octaspace. Uh, not all of them, but a handful of them I've put on Octaspace. A handful of them are still off. I just haven't set them up yet. And so if we look at Octaspace, my last active session was on November 26th. It was six days ago. So I haven't had any rentals. Go ahead and sort this here. Haven't had any rentals in six days. So you can see... I basically have all of these systems. Some of these have i7, some have i5s, um, and I have them all priced uh, very cheap. So uh, basically, like the CPU only ones are like one cent an hour, and the ones with GPUs are like two to three cents an hour. I have them uh, priced very low, and they just they aren't getting rented. And so uh, that's kind of evident what you're seeing over here. So what am I doing with all this hardware? I have decided to move them all back to being full-time GPU crypto mining, GPU and CPU crypto mining. So I'm going to be over the span of you know the, the next couple weeks, I'm going to be taking all these systems and I may be taking some of the hardware out. A lot of these are overkill on the memory that's in them for mining. And some of them, you know, obviously overkill with the storage for mining, don't need all of that. So my plan is to essentially get rid of 
uh, the operating systems on them. I'm putting MMPOS back on all of these systems and I'm going to start mining with them. Now, uh, all the CPU only ones, uh, majority of these are Intel. So we're going to be mining uh, coins that are uh, kind of uh, good on the core, but don't require a lot of L3 cache. So there are lots of coins like that. Um, obviously, you know, the popular like RandomX with Monero, um, Zephyr, those types of coins. We're not going to be mining those with these. Uh, we may with the Ryzen's. Definitely not Zephyr. I'm not a fan of Zephyr. So we won't be mining that one, but we may consider uh, Monero. And with uh, the GPUs, we're going to be mining Vertcoin. And so uh, Vertcoin is nice. It's low power. It's low heat. So we're going to start with Vertcoin. We're going to dial in some overclocks. And we're going to go back to basics. We're going to go back to strictly uh, crypto mining again. So uh, I did have these set up so that when they weren't rented, they were mining. Uh, but it's such a pain to set that up. None of these platforms make that easy. Um, Octaspace was probably the easiest. Uh, they do have this idle job section where you can go in and you can configure your Docker containers. You can see these have actually been, so it gives you an idea. These have been idle mining for 14 days straight. That means none of these have had a job for 14 days straight. At that point, why am I even putting it on their platform? I might as well just put an MMPOS where I can actually manage all of the systems easily. I can, you know, bulk launch flight sheets um, or, you know, like mining profiles with MMPOS and go that route. It's just... It's going to be a lot easier to manage. I can spin them up, spin them down. Not worry if somebody's running something. If it gets too hot in the summer, it's easy to shut down. So, uh, you know, after two and a half, three years of trying the distributed compute platforms, I decided it's not for me. I'm going to go back to strictly what brought me to the dance, and that is crypto mining. And more importantly, finding coins I like, uh, maybe... Maybe we even, you know, mix in Rainbow Miner, Profit Switch, but we're going to be holding coins that we like, uh, coins that I could potentially in the future maybe use for some purchases. And uh, we might even, uh, depending what what we decide to do with these systems, like these mini ones, I may even take these and just sell these. People can use these for like running Bitcoin nodes and things like that. Um, they're very low power. Uh, they're really nice, uh, and they can't run a GPU in them. So for me, I can mine with these. Uh, in fact, those are what's mining right now, all these minis. So mini one through six. Uh, these are all actually those mini systems. Uh, and I believe uh, mini one, if we go ahead and open this one, this is an i7-3770S. So it does have an i7 in it. Again, four core, eight thread. It's a little bit different. It does have 16 gigs of RAM. And we do have, I believe we have like a 200, and 200 gig SSD in there, something like that, something along those lines. Uh, and so, you know, some of these I may offload, uh, but in the short term, my plan is to get all of these up and mining uh, winter is pretty much here now. Uh, cooler temps outside. Uh, I can turn on a bunch of these in the garage. Can even maybe scatter some throughout the house to get uh, equal heat dissipation. And it will be consistent heat dissipation. Where right now it's, you know, all of them are pretty much idle. And they're drawing power. I'm basically paying for all these systems to be idle. So, uh, we did try did try the AI route just not not happy how it went like it it was good for a while don't get me wrong like I was making I was making a decent amount but in the end I was just making you know US dollars that I was using to acquire more hardware which was great but now uh, as we are probably heading into 
a bear run, which is uh, typical for the time frame that we are in the crypto cycle. Now is the time to start stacking coins again. Uh, you know, we're kind of at that fall off point where it's been a good time to sell. You know, October was a really good time to sell. Now for the next year, we're in that accumulation phase where you want to do everything you can to accumulate. And I'm going to use the hardware that I already have. And we're going to start accumulating coins again. Uh, but it's not just going to be any altcoins. We're going to be very selective on what we do. And I am going to try to cover as much of that on this channel as I can.